Home Farm reflects the changing face of Emmerdale. They've introduced Frank Tate and his glamorous wife Kim and his yuppie children, Chris and Zoe, adding a touch of glitz and glamour into the programme, bringing it well into the 90s. It's another early start for the crew, but a change of location. While the cast are still in makeup, the technicians are hard at work. The equipment has to be set up again, the sound has to be checked, and cameras set before another day's recording can begin. Frank Tate is not the usual squire. I mean, he's a self-made man. Mm -hmm. He made his money from a haulage company, which he's now handed over to his son, um, Peter Amory. Um, so I think what he is, he's uh, a lad that's left school at 15 and done very well for himself. <laughs> now, the tapes are the new face of Emmerdale, with new sets, new storylines. How do you think they're fitting into the show? I think it's worked out quite well because people are saying there's a nice balance. You know, we do have the farm. Emmerdale is the centre of the series and should be. But there is now an alternative. With the crew now set up, Norman went off to rehearse the first scene of the day. Well, we were under home farm and caught up with Gene Rogers, who plays Dolly. How do you feel about the character Dolly? How, how do you feel it's, it's taking shape? Um, it's early days, really, to see exactly where she's going. Um, I think one of the problems with the character was that when Dolly had, which it will be coming this summer, two years ago, when she had the affair, <laughs> which was really a brief encounter. Um, and, of course, the character of Stephen Fuller was killed off. So, in a kind of way, it was a hiccup, I think, um, in the character's life as well as in, actually, in Dolly's life, really. And I think she's sort of tended to go into stagnation, really, because there was this terrible problem with um, Matt. You know, could the marriage ever mm -hmm. get back together again? And obviously, it can't, because Fred <laughs> is left. <laughs> now you actually break two golden rules, didn't you? You work with animals and children. Yeah. Is that difficult? Uh, I always think the children have a head start on the animals, actually. <laughs> um, because you work with Ben since his birth. Two, since he was two weeks old, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you can reason with children, particularly if they're intelligent, which Ben is. Uh, a bit more difficult with animals, really. Although you can't tell from these pictures, it was now raining heavily. But they carry on regardless. We left them to it and caught up with Cy Chadwick before he started work. How much of Cy Chadwick is in Mick Bates? Um, quite a lot, because it's the same person, really. No, um, I'm the same age. And we, we, I think there's about two weeks between our birthdays. Um, we're both 20. Uh, my birthday is on the 2nd of June. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm 21, actually. I'm 21 in June, so if anybody wants to send me any nice presents or cards, then you can send it care of Yorkshire Television in Leeds. <laughs> um, the, no, the, the, he's, he's OK. He's Nick, I suppose. There's, there's a, a little bit of me in as, as, as much that my parents were divorced when, when I was a kid, so some of the storylines that I've had in the past of uh, been quite useful in my own like real life experiences so uh, I suppose there is, there's got to be a lot in the character because I've grown up with Nick since I was 16 you know I've uh, I've been the same age and we've gone through like most things on screen and off screen together in a strange kind of way. Filming will continue until about six but while they stay here in the rain we're off to see where the interior scenes are filmed. <laughs> 